So I'm gonna show you a cool little tool that I found um, to help you manage a Zoom. Uh, and this app is called Attendant for Zoom. Uh, it's a free app or they do have a uh, subscription version if you want to choose to pay for it. And if you do, I think it's like $8 a year or a dollar a month, but you can do quite a bit with the free version. So the app does not run Zoom itself, but it does help you manage a Zoom. So you still need your computer uh, or iPad to be able to run your Zoom meeting. But once you have done that, then you can actually use this app to manage uh, that Zoom as it's going on, which has got some pretty cool features that I think you're going to like. So uh, first thing I need to know is I need to know, um, once I've installed the app on my iPad, um, I need to enter the meeting ID, uh, which in this case, if you click the little shield in the corner, once I've started a Zoom, this is my meeting ID. Uh, once I've entered it once, it'll remember your meeting ID, so you don't have to keep reusing them. Uh, if you reuse the same ones over and over again, um, it makes it a little bit easier. So when I open the app, it's going to ask me for that meeting ID. So I'm going to put in my meeting ID. And join meeting. Now once I've joined, it automatically adds to your waiting room an attendant for Zoom. Um, so I have to admit it. And then once I've admitted it, it then tells you that you need to make that attendant a co-host or host of your meeting. Um, I like to use co-host. So if I tap on these three dots and I say make co-host, then that's when the magic happens. So I make it a co-host. Now, if I switch back to my app, this is what it looks like. So um, like I said, it's designed to be a manager for um, your Zoom meeting. So I'm still gonna conduct my Zoom meeting the way I normally would, um, with my laptop, but the iPad can now um, handle some of the record keeping kind of things if I want. So for example, when I click on uh, participants down at the bottom, this will show me all of the participants who are in this Zoom. Um, I can also quickly and easily simply tap on their camera icons or their microphone icons to mute or unmute them. Um, the really nice thing is, is if you have a big class, it'll actually put things into multiple columns so you can see a whole group of people all at one time, which makes it easier for doing things like taking attendance. Uh, if I tap on videos down here at the bottom, I get a gallery view of everything that's going on right now. Uh, so I can see everyone's windows, again, all at one time, which makes it nice and easy. Uh, if I tap the raised hand button, this will show me everyone in the class who has their hand up. So maybe I'm going to do something, maybe I'm asking for a show of hands, and I wanted students to click the raise hand button. I could simply tap raise hands down here at the bottom, and I can see everyone who's got their hand raised simultaneously. And then there's also a chat. So there's a unified chat that allows me to be able to see um, the chat tool, again, in a separate window, separate device, just to make it a little bit easier to type on um, while I'm zooming if I want. Now there's also a few settings that I can do up here. This is where you can unlock the pro version if you want. Uh, you can control uh, some settings on how the attendant looks. Um, you can rename it if you don't want it called attendant, you can give it a different name. And then you can choose automatically um, what settings you want. Do you want the audio to be turned off automatically, which in this case I do so I don't get feedback and stuff. Um, but then you have a few other options in here. Um, that you can mess around with. Uh, there are some shortcuts or things that you can do. If you tap on a person's video from the video part, this will zoom in uh, to show you exactly what that person is looking at. And then I can X that out to shrink it back up. So again, just a really quick, simple way to zoom in and out. And a bunch of other settings and stuff in there too, as long as you're... So I can also tap on these three dots in the upper right-hand corner. And when I click on these, um, it gives me different settings depending on what section I'm at down here. Now, some of these sections require a pro subscription. Um, so for example, if I paid the 99 cents a month, um, then I could control how many columns I have. Um, I could also have it automatically show the active speaker, show any content that's been shared. I could have it only show me active cameras, cameras with raised hands, everyone at once, however I want. Um, same thing when I click on a different window like participants and then click the three dots, now I get a whole bunch of different information specifically uh, related to uh, the participants. So I can mute everybody at once, stop all their cameras, ask them to start their cameras, uh, and so on. Um, now again, I am not someone who likes to pay for apps. I like my free apps as much as the next guy. But um, if it's something that you find value in, use the free app for a while, see if you like it. 
Um, one of the other cool features it has uh, the ability to do is it has the ability to shuffle breakout rooms. So if I have people and I've put them in breakout rooms, if I pay the pro features, um, I could tell it to shuffle those breakout rooms and it'll move students around in random rooms. And then anytime I click that button, it'll do it again. So uh, you can kind of play a little uh, roulette with, uh, with your breakout rooms to kind of mix things up um, from time to time if you want to. Uh, and again, a few other really nice pro features and stuff that comes in here too. Uh, things like controlling how many people you see on your screen at one time, um, and then uh, tapping to spotlight, um, changing meeting settings, some of those things uh, that you want to be able to do too, which is in there. So again, cool app, free uh, for the most part, and uh, it's just another way to help manage your Zooms as you're going along.